Hi everyone and welcome to another Tech Saturday with Eric and Keith. This week we're going to talk overclocking your PC. Yeah. Why you might want to do it and what you should do to overclock your PC. Just a couple simple tools, you know. Not not going to go crazy. We're not going to go L and 2 like overclocking. <laughs> you know, we're, we're just like simple tools to give you a little boost to get you the most out of the, you know, hardware you buy. All right, guys, let's get into it. Roll that intro. <laughs> guys well don't forget to like and share and subscribe real fast yes smash that smash like that like button yes smash it and share this video if you want oh yeah definitely because yeah, definitely. Definitely. you know you might have some friends that are like how do i ever clock my pc right but anyway guys uh we, we gotta jump over to the pc obviously for this part um so we're gonna try and just record from my camera to the computer because obviously the first part of this is in the bios of your computer so we can't screen record that so anyway we're gonna go ahead and twitch over here but before we do just a disclaimer be careful what you're doing because you could fry your pc if you're not sure with this okay right all right well let's jump over to the pc and get this thing going so um we're in the computer let's go to task manager we'll go to performance and we'll click on cpu so you see all of our cores you know we have six cores with 12 logical processors you see our speed is basically 3.4 gigahertz right now and we go to memory you see that uh memory is 2133 so basically all ddr4 memory is 2133 megahertz out of the box if you don't touch it it's always 2133 the box always says it's rated at you know 3000 3200 so we'll show you how to change that in a second just one real quick thing before we do that we'll launch cinebench here and we'll do a quick Cinebench CPU run just to show you the difference of before and after and maybe how much performance you're leaving on the table. If you don't, go ahead and just tweak a couple of simple settings. We might time lapse some of this so you guys don't have to watch it. We'll time lapse starting now. Okay, so you see we scored a kind of like low one here. We got a 1074 basically on our uh, our first run here we could do better than that let's do it so just do file quit and we'll save that score <sighs> but uh we'll go ahead and jump into the bios so now is when we're going to stop our screen recording and jump into the uh camera so we'll see you in a second hey guys so we're jumping into our bios uh, most bios um you said you hit the delete key to get into the bios settings on this asus board so when you see you press delete or f2 to enter the uf I bio setting. So this is uh, ASUS, um, what the UF, UEFI BIOS looks like in the ASUS motherboard. Basically you see the, the stats of your processor, your memory frequency. Okay, so just, just for the simple overclocking, we're gonna go to Extreme Tweaker and then overclocking presets. You see everything is basically set to auto and default. So you don't really want to mess with anything below this. This is all voltage and stuff that we really aren't going to mess with because once we set these settings, it's going to automatically tune it to what it needs for voltage. So AI overclock, we're going to go DOCP standard. This is just, this will give the overclock to your memory that says, hey, this is 3000 megahertz memory. We're going to run at 3000 megahertz. So you see it automatically picked up the, the what memory and the timing that it had. The block frequency, we don't really need to touch that. The performance enhancer set to auto, we want to turn this to, we'll do like a level three overclock for that. The CPQ core ratio auto, uh, performance bias, and we don't need to change that. Um, perform Core performance boost though, we need to set this to enable. Auto will leave it at 3.6 and then boost automatically. If you set it to enabled, it'll automatically run at the higher frequency. SMT mode will do auto and TPU will keep current settings. So basically, that is everything we need to do to get our um, computer running faster. So we'll just hit exit, save changes, and reset. We'll do that and it tells you like the list of everything you just did basically. So we're gonna go okay, and then it's gonna take a couple seconds. It'll probably go through a couple cycles. It might reboot like twice. Uh, eventually we'll get back into Windows here. And one thing to note, like we did put a lot of coolers and a lot of fans while we're waiting in this thing so that we could, you know, be able to overclock it like this. And that's like one suggestion I think we would have, right? To... Yeah, um, at least uh, 240 
milliliter radiator, which is two 120 fans. We did the 360, which is three 120 milliliter fans. And then we got fans here and there blowing up. We basically created a, a positive air pressure. So we have more fans blowing in than we have blowing out, which is pretty good. Um, it keeps dust down inside your PC and it also keeps fresh air moving in and over your radiator. All right, well, we're back to our computer, so we'll jump back to screen recording here in a second and show you some stuff. All right, guys, so we're back inside Windows, as you can see. Let's go launch uh, Task Manager again and go to our Performance tab. So now you can see that our, our base clock speed is still 3.6, but you see we're running at 4.1, 4.6 gigahertz on the CPU, right? Up from 3.4. Nice. So we've increased that a lot. And if you go to your memory, now you see in here, your speed is 3000 megahertz. So we basically gave ourselves a 700 megahertz boost on our memory as well. Then we can go back into our Cinebench and we'll uh, go ahead and run the CPU score again. Remember last time we, we got the 1074. Let's see what Ooh, we can do this time. We could do better. So again, we'll probably time lapse starting now. Okay guys, so as you see, we. <laughs> We got 300 points, or well, a little bit less than 300 points on the, uh, you know, runs here. That was actually my best run yet So uh, in, in any of these. So just, uh, this just shows you how much performance you leave on the table if you don't just do a few simple overclocks. Right, this is, uh, this is awesome, great tips here. Okay guys, we're gonna jump out of the screen recording and we'll give you our final thoughts. All right guys, well I hope you found that super useful. That was uh, just, a, this shows you a couple quick little two tweaks in your BIOS and your computer's running that much better. Yep, so keep in mind too that this is an aftermarket board. This isn't like a system built board. So it's, you know, your BIOS is gonna look a little different if you have like a Dell or something like that. Exactly. And this is also a synthetic benchmark. So that's just, you know, like it's a controlled environment, but it's a way to show you basically what performance you were leaving on the table, basically. All right, guys, well drop us a like on this video. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you have any questions or whatever. We'll try to answer whatever we can. Um, obviously we're not gonna be able to to like troubleshoot your computer or maybe you probably won't be able to like set this up for you <laughs> but maybe we can point you in the right direction right don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button 2019 style 2019 style and also don't forget we got the sweet merch still we got the spreadshirt and this is off teespring eric's got the new shirt off teespring check that out we'll drop all the links below yep we'll also drop our patreon link if you want to help support the channel that'd be awesome we'd really appreciate it all right guys well thanks a lot for watching Peace and love.